Alright guys, what's the crack? This is Gar, and this is Black and White. Part of an ongoing effort on my channel to feature a few more God games in the run-up to Goddess, and I find this one's probably going to be particularly... A land of innocence has no need for gods. Let me shut up for a bit while the narrator talks. Until fate intervenes. Check out them polygons. Keep away hey, from the water! Stop! Where's this noob going? Noob, no! L2P noob! Uh -oh. When people pray, a god is always born. Help! Someone help, help us! We call Please to the heavens! Able to change eternity. Peter Molyneux, inventing dubstep. Look guys, it's black and white, get it? The universe? The universe is black and white. I remember this intro blew my mind when I was 10 years younger, which is when this game came out, 2002. Well, 11 years younger, I guess, wow. <laughs> there I am, that's me. Soaring my way through the universe to the sounds of some Indian singers. Trying to find my way towards what I what I imagine is Earth. <laughs> I'm just thinking how they asked for a uh, they asked for somebody to help save them from sharks, and here Are comes a meteor about to destroy them. <laughs> Good or evil? Be what you will, you are destiny. I am destiny. You saved our boy! Sure did, love. Sort of. We're not touching a Thank button. You for your mercy. You're welcome. We praise you! Yay! My first loyal believers, followers, what have you. Click LMB to continue. <laughs> Greetings. We're your conscience. <laughs> Good and evil. Yin and Yang. Do you notice how Black evil has the American accent? As part of you will guide mm. you through this Suspicious? world. Suspicious? I think so. As part of you will guide you through this world. Awesome. That'll be useful because it's been ages since I've played Our the game. Ages. Oh, nice. Even more followers. So, I remember I have to go Please through this goddamn annoying tutorial, to but follow them. to be honest, I'm pretty pretty, pretty happy that I'm going to have this tutorial Let's because you move your hand in the it's been a while since I've played this game. Like this. It's pretty I can't then skip this though, because I can't even like take part. Button. Yeah, I get it, I get it. You kind of just drag yourself you around like a Neanderthal. Forwards, I get it. Push away to move backwards. Good, shut up. You <laughs> click, hold and pull again to cover more ground. I, it seems pretty intuitive. I'm not gonna lie. Can, can we? Can we? Can we? Can we move on? No. Nope, no. Nope. Just gonna Follow casually watch this guy. to the village. You will have to grab the landscape several times. Challenge accepted. Okay, here we go. Awesome. So, as I was saying, I played this game ages ago. Wow, check it out. And it was one of my favorite games of all time. I'm a big Peter Molyneux fan. I mean, who isn't? He's a bit controversial recently in games, but in the run-up to Goddess, his new god game, I thought I'd go back and play one of his archetypal famous god games, which is this, Black and White. Now, I think it stood the test of time quite well. Your arrival was foretold. The prophecy has come true. We can now finish the temple. Check me out. Let's move to the temple. Is that me? Is that meant to be me in the rock? It looks like a lion or a tiger. Well, I can double click the move button, or the game can freeze. And it's come back to me. Good stuff. So there's the temple. Let's let's go over there. Oh yeah, check it out. Oh yeah, check out this crappy temple they started to build. 
I'm actually, you know what? Hey, it's not finished. It's not bad. But we could. Yeah, when it's finished, this temple will be the focus of our. So even but evil wants me to, to complete this. To look okay. Around. I need to learn how to look you around. You move the <laughs> hand to the side <laughs> of the screen oh. until the rotate arrow appears like this. You hold down the move button. Then you move the hand in a circular motion to rotate around and see things from a different angle. I get it, I get it, I get it. Can't they use middle mouse button? Isn't you that something? You can rotate either way. I can probably do... It's the, the mouse icon is showing me a mouse icon button. Now remember, this game came out whenever middle mouse buttons weren't the norm. You can also <laughs> use the keyboard to rotate. Shift left and right. Awesome. Now you... Oh, I can't hold shift. Nor can I... Do middle mouse button. I've got to yep. do it this way. Or I can use the whole keyboard Good. with the arrow keys. Okay, that's that's, that's grand. All right. All right. All right. Yes. Easy, easy peasy. Easy, easy peasy. Come on. How much do I need to do Ooh. that shit? Now, <laughs> let's learn how... Okay, okay. Let's... Come on. You come on. Move he kind of treats you a the bit move like a moron. Then you move Peter the Martin hand to look up <laughs> and down. <laughs> Yeah. I know, I've got I really do have the idea. I've got this pretty mastered, I'm gonna say, dude. Well, I've got this pretty mastered, so now we've learned how to move and look, we can help the villagers build the Right. This is this this is it. This is the game proper. Excuse me for the squeaky chair. Let's take supplies of food and wood from the village. First, you move the hand over the food or wood like this. Okay, okay. You pick up by pressing the action button. The longer you hold, the more you pick up. Okay. That you seems can intuitive. still drag while holding objects. Okay. 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 I got this. I got this. I'm probably going to skip forward the these demo bits because I don't think you guys necessarily want to see them. Okay, so we hold our hand over the wood and right click to drag it all up. Let's get, I don't know, as much wood as we possibly can get. Let's just, let's test it. How much wood does it need? Oh god, that's not what I meant to do. Wood required 1871. Okay. Can I make it go faster? Can I like shift click or something? No. Okay, so while I'm um, talking about this, guys, what I need to uh, what I need to do is tell you about how this game is meant to be essentially my way of interacting with you guys. I'm gonna try and include you guys in this wherever possible, and I can hold down middle mouse button to do that, so that's awesome. And holding down right click doesn't do anything, but oh, why not the people finish building the temple first? It's already got all the wood it needs. What are they? Shut up, dude! <laughs> I'm busy. It's got no. Why yeah. not help the people finish What's he? building the temple first? Hmm. This guy. All right, I'm just gonna ignore him and talk to you guys for a little bit. So, my name is Gar. In this, that's the name of the Gar game. You'll see this. That's the name of the God. You <laughs> welcome. You're currently playing as black and white as Gar. I've got a little cool symbol. They give you a little choice at the beginning, and I'll put up what my symbol is at the beginning of the thing now. But I want you guys to vote oh hello <laughs> whether or not i'm just going to be good or evil and this is how i want you to do it i want you to press the like button for good and the dislike button for evil and i mean that i don't mind what comes out i don't i really don't mind if i get 500 dislikes and one like in this video it's just using as a voting system so i'll put that up at the start and the bottom maybe have a little banner I love how I'm talking over this beautiful music where I'm going to be worshipped as the god last, that I always knew I am, was, I always knew I was. Thanks dudes, love in the temple. The entrance. Oh, I can go inside? How the hell can I fit inside this? I'm meant to be huge. Uh, hello? <laughs> oh, Irish music. My favourite. Enter temple, right click. Okay. Ooh. Incredible! The yeah. built all this. It's pretty fancy, I have to say. It's pretty, to think pretty damn it's nice. A monument to you as a god. It's about time. About and time. Us as your conscience, don't forget. Mm. The workmanship is amazing. And what a symbol of overwhelming evil. Ooh, now that's the no, question. Now look, do you dislike? Do you like? Do you dislike? Now. Do you like? Place your bets now, slash folks. Each leads to a room. 
The rooms are extremely useful. Let's okay, try so we got some rooms in this temple. Okay, 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 okay. Right, first of all, oh what? I just exited it. I didn't mean to do that. I just wanted to go to the options menu. Oh god. Uh, I hope I haven't buggered this up. Hopefully I can go back into the temple and work it all out. But can we just go quickly to the? I'm going to get some missions. Now we have a temple. Let's okay, explore. Great. <laughs> no, there's so oh, well. much we got. We'll need these if we're going to progress through scrolls. this world. Okay, so we need gold, gold story, story scrolls, scrolls. Looks like that. Clicking on gold story scrolls with the action button, you can activate the we're scroll. We're in Eden. Oh, that's explore. good to know. It okay, okay, okay. I'm going to explore back in the temple for a bit, but we are going to first of all just. Pop down the music that little bit, just a little bit. I can do it in post, but this is going to make my life a lot easier to do it there. So we are going to go back to the temple, I think, first. Can I enter the temple here? Awesome. Uh, so what type of rooms have we got here? What type of rooms can I... Uh, we've got the challenge room, the creature cave. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, we get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> Game options room. Don't panic. That's just the same stuff. I could have done that within the game and not having to left. Okay, well that's useful to know. Sort of. I don't know why I wouldn't just press escape, but whatever. What does this say? Check out all the writing on the scroll, boss. People, I've got 59 people. Only 81% believe in me. Hmm. 52% males. Deaths in the regions. Births. Okay, that's pretty, 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 pretty minimal. Got no sort of disciples. All right, I keep leaving this thing, which is a bit annoying. Okay, uh, what's we got here? Creature room, game options room, exit, future room, the library. Okay, save game room. That's useful to know too. What's in this the library? Is the, library. the scrolls contain a home. Okay, so basically just kind of a tutorial room. Okay, so I can perform miracles. Got some story history. I presume that's basically just what's going on, like one lines ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's cool. Okay, that's useful to know. And let's try one last room before we go and explore. We get it, dude. Future room. Future still uncertain. Okay. Uh. All right. <laughs> Who knows what that means? Uh, let's just exit this now. Awesome. Right. Let's see what these signposts do. Boop. Activate. Okay. You can scroll through some of these info signs to read all the text. Hold the, the space bar on is the a text short and move right. up or down. Dude, shush. Any information you read on one of these is added to the library all right. okay. in the temple. Alright, I I I I I'm preferring the American dude already. Did you know a space bar is a shortcut key to place your camera in a safe position? Press the recurrent. Okay, so it just basically resets the camera a little bit, and double pressing it will return me to the to the temple. That's cool. Okay. Okie dokie. Right, we got everybody's names here. Checking animals for slaughter. Going to the stuff. Is this their age? Thirty-one. Hey, dude. How you doing? Can I pick you up? I can. <laughs> hmm. Might have some. Uh, might have some cool... Might have some fun with you. Oh god, I didn't mean to drop you. I'm sorry. Um, there you go. Have a pig. Have a pig, dude. I'm sorry to, I'm sorry I dropped you. Are you okay? How do I get his little... Uh, how do I get the tooltip over again? Where's the tooltips gone? Let's see if this sign has anything to tell me. Signposts always contain useful information. Ba -ba -ba. Hold down the action button on the text and scroll up. Try that. That's right. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Where's the tooltips for the guy's information again? If you drop a person by a job, they'll become a disciple and do that job indefinitely until you stop them by picking them up and shaking your hand to release them. You can create as many disciples as you like in villages on your own. Okay. Well, that's good to know. So I can maybe make some disciples? Hmm. Let's check out this. The village store contains food and wood. You can add either resource to the store, and the villagers will also gather them unless they are worshipping or assigned as a disciple to another task. Uh, well, how about we get this tooltip up again? I like that tooltip of everybody's names, or at least I would like to know how to toggle it. 
You can hold the action button down to pick up an increasing amount of food from a pile. You can also drop trees and wooden objects into the village store as well as fish from the sea. Ooh, that's useful to know. So let's say, how about I, I don't know, grab this tree. Nice. And... Supply. I can do some, uh... I can do some farming for my dudes. There's my symbol. There's my symbol. The symbol of Gar. Yeah. Right, how do I get, how do I get this tooltip up again? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Any spinning signs around here? Got this one. You can plant forests by picking up a tree and placing it upright in the ground. If you place a tree in a village, it becomes a scenic addition and will please your people. Foresters will not cut these down. Okay, well, let's get some, let's get some, uh, come on, let's get some, uh, scenic -y trees on the go. Let's try and please the peeps. Please the peeps. Hey guys, look what the hand of God is doing. It's like the hand of car. The hand of Gar is pleased with you. Let's get some disciples, I think. Hey dudes, just me, just just God, chilling out with you. You look a bit lazy, if you don't mind me saying so. Okay. See in the- oh right, this is what- I can place him to do certain things, can I? Okay, well how about we make you a forester? Disciple forester. Disciple forester. Disciple forester. Uh... Disciple Forester. So what's this tooltip say over here? Come on. Bit awkward. You can use the mouse wheel to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know that. I know that. I know that. I wonder if I can press escape on that to leave it. Nope. Escape brings that up. I have to... I have, that's awkward, you know? That's awkward having to right-click that thing. But okay. We need some farmers, I think, now is the... Well, what's this guy? What's this tooltip saying here? Children can stay safely in the crash until they reach adulthood. A crash in a settlement encourages people to have more children. All this is useful to know. Hey, you. You can become... Disciple Farmer. Yes, exactly. Thanks, love, for telling the viewers what I need to know. Oh, there we go. N. Aha. There we go. Thank you very much. N is the tooltip I was sort of looking for. Um... That's just the disciples, though, isn't it? I think that's just the disciples. No, I don't. What does that say? I can I can use the tooltip to dis names of tribes people. Okay, it's not every tribes person though. Claire Hadley. No, I missed. There we go. Well, she's a child, so that doesn't work. Um, let's get one of these lazy buggers. Disciple farmer. Disciple breeder or something? Is that what this is? Disciple breeder. Uh, yes, please. Disciple breeder. Just Disciple breeder. Go and uh, breed to your heart's contents. Oh God. Well, I think I got some people to believe in me through accidentally Disciple killing a child. <laughs> okay. Well, I think unless we can get some disciple. If you see a house with smoke coming out of it, it's occupied. You will also see yellow people symbols which show how many people are in the house and green people which show how many free spaces. Okay, so we probably need to build some houses. So can we get a builder? Mm, forester, forester, forester. Let's see if we can get a worshipper or something. Is it possible to get worshippers? No. So at the moment we have breeders, foresters. Steve Laurie. <laughs> Why is that name making me laugh? I don't know. But I'm just going to try and grab some trees here. I've got a feeling that the uh, the dudes, the foresters, are meant to like uh, keep those forests planted. So, let's have a quick scroll. I can't scroll too far. Okay. Okie dokie. I see a silver scroll down there. I see one of these things here. I think it's probably te teaching me how to fish, isn't it? Okay. Well, let's try fishing then. Blah, 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 blah. Can I make a fisher? Is it like uh Did I just dump the food on the ground? Um I don't think I did. Yes, I can make fishermen. And he called them to the fish Oh god. Sorry dude. 
disciple fisherman. I keep accidentally hurting these people. It's a bit easy to hurt them, not gonna lie. Disciple <laughs> fisherman. Okay, I think we're doing alright. Let's go do the uh, gold scrolly thing. Disciple fisherman. Yeah, we got plenty of food, plenty of stored wood. Let's take a look at. Oh, what's this? Excuse me. This is my graveyard. Did you know if you have a graveyard, the people won't mourn when people die? I think that's handy. <laughs> what is this thing? I don't know. But it's cool looking. Hmm. Right. Let us click on this thingy. Come on. Oh, you awkward bugger. Right. Every time you activate a gold story scroll, you start the next chapter of the story of black and white. How quickly you progress depends on how often you choose to activate them. Bang. Activating this one. Hello, love. What's Greetings, your name? Holy one. You've activated a gold story scroll. My oh. name is Sable. Nice to meet I'm you, Sable. I'm a of creatures. Ooh. I challenge you to open these. Behind them are three one. Every god, they can grow tall as a mountain and can perform miracles. Excuse me as I skip through this some a bit, guys, because I can read faster than stones. she says it out, Each so sometimes I will skip. must be placed on this platform. Aha! Was that a gate stone? I think I found one of the gate stones earlier, so... Right, so the villagers were dancing around one when we arrived. Okay, so we've got one Once here. Okay, awesome. Stone. Now, retrieve. Retrieve the first gate stone, holy one. Okay, well, is it over here somewhere? Here's the stone that people were dancing around. Pick it up by clicking the action button on Easy it. Easy peasy. Okay. Boom. That's why it looks like a lion, I guess. Excellent. You f found try looking for a gold story scroll in the village. Okay, a gold story scroll. Why would I need to find another one? Who knows? Is this one of those dudes? Is that one of that one of those stones? The uh, this thing. Is that not the cool story scroll? Oh, there's the cool story scroll. Okay. First of all, let's click on this dude. Fields are where your people plant crops, which are then harvested and carried to your village store to add to the food pile. You can harvest crop yourselves, as can your creature. You can also make a dedicated farmer disciples by placing villagers. Blah 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 blah. Boom. I got you, gold story scroll. And it <laughs> right, we get it. You knew before me, right? What are you gonna say next? My brother Check out them polygons, man. And lost. Oh no! I'll get him. Oh my god, he sounds really sick. <laughs> Why is he taking shelter under some massive mushrooms? He sounds awful. If you find him and bring him home. I'll give you one of the three gate stones. It's in my house. What are you doing with it in your house? Just using it as a dining room table. Hey, I got a plan. Why don't we trash the house? Ooh, see, here's the first chance I get to be either good or evil, guys. Here's the first point I get. And I think as a... brother is in some trees through the pass. I really want you guys to be a part of that. So I'm thinking I'm going to go save right now. I, in fact, I'm, I'm positive. I'm going to go save right now, and I am going to make my decision based on your votes, ladies and gentlemen. So please, give me your votes. Remember, it's a like for being good, a dislike for being evil, and I shall see you next time once you have decided for me my path in black and white. Alright guys, thanks very much again. Don't be afraid to uh, comment on the video and follow me on Twitter and all that good stuff. See ya. Bye.